Yeah, I think you need like two people to do some of these. Or just one George. While he's doing that, I'm gonna, maybe I'll loosen some of the things outside. I think I need you to hold it. Okay, never mind. Just, well, breaking all the toys. Making it happen. Today, we are going to do something really fun. We gotta get this whole thing cleaned up and ready. There's many different companies that have aviaries. This specific aviary is by Wings. And what I like about it is that no animals can really get through this. Marla. Yes? Get a broom and start doing something. This is turned into cleaning the entire So you're gonna get your shoes dirty. That's what I'm saying, George. And it's not fair, because you're making me look like... George, I'm gonna get wet! Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is George. And today, we are going to be setting up our aviary. Of course, you guys have seen it before, but it's kind of like in last summer vibe. So we're going to be revamping the whole we're thing. everything off. So George is pulling everything off right now. I'm gonna help him. Whenever I try to make a video and I have George in it, then he just gets right to it. So there's George in the background pulling no off. No time to waste. No time to waste, that's right. George loves to put down this kind of fake flat grass. We like it to be as short as possible just so that you know, it's easy to sweep and clean. We have two of them now, right George? Yeah, so you can always switch them out. It's like, it's like having a bag on the bottom. And then all you do is you pick it up, toss it out, and then get the other one, and then in the meantime, just wash the, that one, and then you, you have it ready for the next time. How do you wash this one? Well, you, I use the scraper. You see that one right there? I'm not a scraper. I lived in the East Coast, so I know that this is a rake. It's actually a, a poopy scooper. Oh. So before this gets revamped, I want to tell you guys a few things. One, I'm going to give you a before shot. Wow, those are some really old toys, or they live through our Los Angeles winter. I'd like to give them a before shot. So. It's okay, they don't need to see it. So, eaten up toys, we've got things that have rusted, not this. We have toys that we have updated, so let's get the to The misters it. are messed up too. We got mister system, so we gotta fix that as well. I think I want to make a better system. What What's going on here? Excuse me, are you guys trying to see what we're doing? Who else is here? Anyone else? looking for all the naughty birds. Are you guys being good? Are you being good? You guys stay good because we're setting up the aviary, all right? Yeah, I think you need like two people to do some of these. Or just one George. While he's doing that, I'm gonna, maybe I'll loosen some of the things outside. I think I need you to hold, hold. okay, never mind. Just, well, breaking all the toys. Making it happen. Some tips I wanna give you guys while George is just uh, revamping this thing. One. Get rid of the rust. Get rid of the rust. I mean, it would be nice if you like showed yourself to camera when you want to give some tips, George, but okay. So here's some things to look for and reasons to redo an aviary as well as cages, you know, seasonally. Let's say my birds haven't really been out here for the winter, although it's Los Angeles. So we um, maybe have like one week of winter and maybe a day of rain, not kidding. It's not too bad, but if it's gonna get cold, I don't really leave them out here. So one, you want to check all toys for rust. You want to get rid of of that you don't want your birds coming into contact with or chewing rust. any rust mold where do you see mold like wood it's i like guess wood could mold i haven't seen any but george says there could be mold like you know if it's got water like you know stuff and i guess it doesn't rain enough here but if that happens to you from definitely our, our misters, or one. like fungus things like that you definitely want to remove that another exciting thing is to move around the purchase you know give them something new to look forward to something new to experience if you are adding new birds to your flock and it's going to be their first time in the aviary pay attention for how they enjoy sitting did and he, the he, types of wood yeah. I know. Does he's he want to come out? Is that why? Yeah, he wants to be involved in what he we're doing. He wants to be in here. I know, but we're busy. He can't you be You guys in are here. in my playground! I 
Yeah, he's freaking out. Look at him, he can't even, there he is, screaming. Also, the ground on the aviary, whatever you lay down, is going to be a breeding ground for all sorts of bugs, right? Because- Unless you give it space. True. We actually, I could show you what George has done. The grass that we laid down is not touching the bottom of the aviary so that it can't be a breeding ground because we kind of learned the hard way. So this is kind of cool. Can you move, please? You're so close to me. Yeah. <clears throat> this is now raised, okay? The whole aviary is raised so that there is a space in between the concrete and the bottom of the cage so that the wetness can't create mold or bugs. In short, so that everything can get washed away with his hose and his pressure washer. So another thing to consider, as you guys get more information about your bird and how your bird uses toys, you may discover that certain toys are not good for certain birds and certain toys may be outdated. So perches like this, for example, if you notice, oh, the light is in it, but if you notice that your bird is one of those birds that chew it, you might wanna be careful of cloth impaction. Generally, things like this are made out of 100% cotton, so they're more of a natural material material that can basically disintegrate in the system. But if I were you and I had a bird chewing them, then I would take it out and replace it with something else. And we'll show you some cool things we're gonna replace it with. Another thing is as you're watching your birds, you may learn how they like to perch. Like for example, Vinny likes to perch on the bottom. So that's why I always keep some perches low. And you also wanna have a variety of different sizes of perches why we have things like these and look for the aging and toys here right here this has been here all winter this is rusty we got to get rid of that and just really start rearranging start paying attention to where they stand and if they can get droppings on another perch okay so george just keeps adding ideas as i give them them I have this very long 36 inch perch, which by the way, we have on our website at parrotstation.com. This Boeing is from Planet Pleasures and it's pretty cool because it's made out of all natural materials. The main thing with the Boeings is you can use them to go from one side to another if you wish. Like we could have done something like this, straightened it out, but a lot of birds love swinging on them. So guys, what I'm learning from setting this up right now and also from watching the birds in the A is I would have liked to have some more longer perches because shorter perches don't really utilize all the space that they possibly can. So since I don't really have a lot of longer perches on hand, I mean, I do have more of these if George wanted to put those in, but we kind of already have a few situations like that. I'm gonna really try to utilize this area with, George, maybe what we should have done was put this in the middle so they could have reached some toys. Sometimes guys, it's just a process where you're figuring it out as you go. So I want you guys to keep in mind when you hang up toys in your bird's aviary, the proximity of the toy, can they reach it? So this is fidget spinner. It's a shorter toy. So I put it where there's a higher perch. You wanna be mindful of that. Places to put toys where they can reach them. This is half a mil. By the way, guys, all of these toys are available in our store. I'm putting my favorites in here just because I know that the birds love them and I want them to be happy coming in the aviary. So don't forget to check out parrotstation.com for these toys. So we got to hustle because there's only maybe 10 minutes more of light. So let's put them in real fast. What's this? this is Brandel's favorite toy. It's called Caps and Ladders. This is a good toy to put up against the wall, for example, somewhere here. So this box of toys Toys, guys, are toys that we have from our photo shoot for putting in on our Parrot Station YouTube channel, which you guys should check out. We did that on purpose because if you love watching birds play with toys, that's one thing. But if you're confused about the size of the toy or how your bird might play with the toy, it's good to see different birds mm -hmm. in proximity of the uh, toy. Brando's favorite toy. This is Freddie Bobby. This is like almost every bird's favorite toy. So put it where Brando's gonna be able to reach it. Brando's probably gonna play on this. 
this thing. She loves hanging high. She loves, this is Freddie Bobby. As you could see, it was from a photo shoot, so they already played with it. The eye is missing. Freddie Bobby is not hollow. Freddie Bobby is full of so many exciting things. So after they rip the head off, it becomes another toy we have called Killarney, pretty much. So it's a great, very interactive toy. And once they open it, you can throw things in there for foraging. So it's really exciting. That right there is Vinny's favorite toy. So you might want to hang it low, but that's okay too, because Vinny loves to... He likes to be over here on the side. Looking good. This right here is Cali Roll. Real nice, natural toy for your birds to play with. Seagrass. I love this toy as well. George now has Jungle Blocks. Jungle Blocks is cool because it can go from one spot to another, so that's kind of fun. Oh yes, Latte. This is Large Latte. This is a really fun toy for birds that, you know, they don't really chew wood. There's got small pieces to start, paper, and some beads in there, which is really exciting. So why I love this toy, it's got yucca, and yucca is only in season during a certain part of year, which we just passed. Two toys from the Picasso line. Oh yeah. This is my favorite part setting up toys. What is this? This is called Ty's Breakfast. This is called Ron's Last Straw. So that when people order it with Ron, he has to tell everyone that, yes, did you want 50 of Ron's Last Straw? I love those kind of inside jokes, guys. So for many, real low we just put pinwheels so don't forget about the birds that like to perch low so so far it's looking good with some of our favorites don't forget some swings for the birds it's like a paradise in there a paradise a paradise okay i found another great one this is charmed i love charmed jersey loves charmed and what i love about the toy charmed i used to ask every bird store can you please find me toys with small pieces but for larger birds on a chain because like if it's not on a chain they're gonna break it so here this is the edge and Jersey can reach that so that's another good spot so let's look at where we're at I think this is looking pretty exciting it looks like a parrot dice. Hey guys, this is just a quick insert to give you an update on our aviary. As I said, I would get another one of these boings from Planet Pleasures and the birds love it. But look at what I forgot I had, this awesome new swing. Look at it, it's kind of got like this T-shaped and it's pretty interesting how she doesn't even go off balance on it and the birds have been loving it. How cute is she? We have these in our store if you want to check them out. I think they're really cool and I'm excited about them. What do you think, Blue? Guys, I'm waiting for the day when Blue's on one side and Brando's on another. I'm gonna be so excited. Look at Vinny. What are you saying, Vinny? You excited? What are you excited about? Hey there, what's up? Is there anything else? What's going on? Yeah, do you like your new Boeing? I saw you playing on it. Oh, I'm waiting for the day, waiting for the day. with a whole bunch of toys. We're gonna get their reactions. He's getting off me, he saw something. Oh, baby steps. Ron's last straw. Vinny, as I predicted, is already on his yucca toy.